Today we're here to talk about uh, ICBC and the review that was done on ICBC. Uh, and of course our goal is to make sure that government uh, ensures that ICBC is making every effort possible to uh, keep controllable costs to a minimum and that it is aligned with government priorities. I do want to point out that uh, ICBC has done, I think, a, a very good job in keeping rates low for uh, drivers in British Columbia. You can see here, uh, these are the combined basic and optional rates uh, for drivers in British Columbia every year in terms of increases or decreases. And over the 10-year period, uh, ICBC has kept rate increases averaging less than 1%. It's about 0.8% uh, on average. And that compares quite favorably to uh, the decade in the 1990s when the increases averaged more closely to about 4% increase per year. However, what causes me the most concern with what we found on ICBC is something that I want to highlight here today with this slide. What you'll see here is that there has been a significant increase in both the number uh, of management staff and also the uh, compensation since 2007. Now in 2008, as you know, we started heading into, that was the first sort of uh, signs that we were uh, seeing some significant economic tremors around the world. In 2009, we were in the midst of a global economic meltdown. The scale and scope uh, was such that certainly something I hadn't seen uh, since, uh, since I've been around. And uh, unfortunately, during that time, what we see here at ICBC is that in spite of what was going on around the world, um, we saw increases in the senior management, in managers, and in uh, professional staff, non-unionized staff uh, at ICBC. And uh, that is something that uh, uh, the combination of more people and higher wages is both unacceptable and something that uh, is going to change and change very quickly. Um, to put that into context, in 2009, in government, as we started realizing just how serious the downturn was, uh, management staffing in government fell by 7% and total compensation was down by 1%. Uh, well, at the same time, over that same period, from 2009 to 2011, ICBC's management staffing actually increased by 23%, and their compensation increased by 15%. Uh, so, you know, clearly, that is not taking into account the realities of what's going on in the world uh, all around us. And uh, it shows a real disconnect, in my view, between what British Columbians and those around the world are really feeling in the economy and what was taking place at ICBC. The um, review highlights identified uh, an, a number of opportunities for improvements and provided 24 specific recommendations uh, to address these. Uh, the bottom line is we want to make sure that ICBC as a corporation is making every effort to keep controllable costs to a minimum and that they make sure that rates are going to be affordable for the public.